Today we're going to be working on a 2008 Lexus ISF. Well, we're going to be installing a V-line in this vehicle, and we'll show you how to take out the radio for that. Alright, so the first step will be taking off the shifter here. If you just sort of hit that counterclockwise, it'll slowly come off. Alright, now that we've got that removed, we can take off these two silver pieces of trim here. And we're just using a pry tool for that. And they do pull out this way, so make sure you don't pry up against it, make sure you pull out towards you. Alright, now that we got those removed, we can move on to taking this out. Alright, so to get this piece out, we're just going to be prying against it here. And we'll do the same on this side. And from there, you can just lift up. And there are two clips on the top part here. Make sure you kind of rotate it. Uh, you can unplug this, or you can just leave it connected into the side. In this case, we are going to disconnect it just to make everything easier. And now that that's out of the way, we'll need to take this pocket here out too. There's going to be two Phillips head screws that hold that in. And now that those are removed, this will come out. And we'll unplug this one too. And now that those are out of the way, we'll move on up to the vents. Alright, so the vents come out uh, by prying them, but there's also going to be a clip up here. So normally if you tilt the vents down, you can see it here. You're going to want to get that and pull it down. Once that's pulled down, you can start to pry around the edges. And you just want to slowly work it loose, which is what we're going to do here. And we're going to move over to this side now that we've got that side a little loose. And there's going to be two plugs here, yeah, this one, and these might also be attached in here. They simply just pull right out, and the last clip will be on the opposite side. Or not last clip, but last plug, you can see them both here. And now we're ready to take out the radio. Alright, so we've got two 10mm bolts at the top, we'll be removing those. And now we can do the ones on the bottom. Alright, and now that those are removed, we can pull out the radio. And once you've got it slightly out, you might be able to get it around the shifter, but in this case, we are going to shift it back. That'll give us some more room to pull the radio out. And from here, we're going to be disconnecting everything. Now that we've got that removed, we can move forward with the install what the back of it looks like. Alright, so for this install we are going to be removing the glove box so we can run our wiring. Uh, it's not always necessary. And typically you can just take out this air cabin filter cover uh, for the interior and uh, you can notch a hole in the side of it or just run your cables around it. Um, but in this case we want to remove this to run it cleaner. Uh, so to start off we'll be removing this side piece of trim here. You can use your pry tool for that. Once that's removed, uh, we can go ahead and start taking the screws out of the top here. Alright, so next up we'll be removing the bottom piece down here that covers the, uh, all the AC components. Uh, for that, we're just going to take a pry tool, and there's a few clips all along the side. And once those are out, you can pull it towards you, and I'll do this one plug here. Now that we've got that removed, we've got some 10 millimeters we need to take off. We'll start with this one over here. So you just got the three 10 millimeters that hold the airbag in place. Um, don't mess with this connector or any yellow wiring or loom like this. It's all for airbags. Um, and you want to make sure you have the battery disconnected if you do have to mess with those connectors. So we're just going to leave that to the side. And then we'll take out these two. Alright, and lastly we've got some Phillips head screws here that we need to take out. glove box down. We've got two clips up top that we need to remove. And this just simply pulls off of here. And that's how you remove the glove box. And from here we'll be running our wiring through this spot. Alright, so we're just going to show you how we're going to run our wires through here. Um, as you can see, we're just simply pushing it through right here. Uh, 
we are going to go up to this harness here and we're going to attach it there. So we're going to get through this gap. And in this case, I'm just going to give myself some slack, make sure I've got my connectors over here where they can reach. And then we'll start doing the same with all of our other harnesses. And we'll come back once we've run those. Alright, so next we're installing the GPS antenna. We're going to be putting that right up here above the AC vent. And then we'll route it down the side over here. Now that we have that mounted back there, we're going to run this across. Alright, so we fished it across under over this, and then underneath this corner up here. And then from there, we're just going to bring it down through the glove box area. And then we'll continue to run it with the rest of our cables. Alright, so we've routed all of our cables in here. Uh, we actually drilled a hole in the side of this top part here where this cover comes off. And so now we've got all of our wires in the glove box. And in this case, we're ready to put it all back in. Once you get that back in place, you can go ahead and start putting the screws back in up top, just to kind of hold it. And now that those are back in, we can start putting in all the bottom ones. And from there, we're going to go ahead and test everything real quick before we fully put everything back in. So we'll be right back. Alright, so we've cleaned up everything in here, we've run all of our wires, we've got the V-line right here, as uh, just felt tape uh, to make it kind of blend in, and we've used Velcro to attach it to the top of the glove box. Um, it's in there now. So from here we've got everything organized, um, now we can put back in the radio, so we've got all the wires back here organized and ready to plug in. Right, so we're going to make our first connection with the GVMF cable. Other cable is going to be the MCF toy here, the 1210 connector. Which will be going at the very bottom of the radio. One thing to make sure you don't mix up is going to be this 12 pin connector. That's with everything else that goes up top. That'll be connecting in the side here. The 12 pin connector that we need to use will be with the other group of wires going to be right here. It's going to be with all the wires that go to the very bottom of the radio. So make sure as you're reconnecting everything you don't mix those up. <laughs> Once everything's connected on the bottom, then we can move on to all of our connectors up top. Once you've got everything connected, it's best to just double check back here, make sure nothing got left disconnected. Alright, it's everything connected, make sure you take this and either just put it up to the side, but you don't want it to get locked behind the radio. I'll just have to take that back out. As you put this back in, you want to just line up the holes up here, and then you can pay attention to them on the bottom as well. Go. Now we can go ahead and screw that back in. And now we're ready to start putting our trim back in. Alright, so we're ready to put the pocket back in here now. We're going to go ahead and shift down. And we're going to plug in this 4 pin connector here. slide it in at a bit of an angle to get it into place. There we go. And then we're going to put our two Phillips head screws in here. And now that we've got those, we're ready to put this piece of trim back in as well. It's going to be the two plugs here that we connect. Right, 
And once you get this lined up, it just snaps right into place. And we can shift back into park and we're ready to assemble the rest. Alright, so now we're ready to put these back in on bottom. These just slide in from the single. put the gear shifter back on as well and then we'll show you how to put the vent and the glove box back together now all right so for the vents we got to plug in these two here there we go and make sure you get this wire over the top there and then as you push it in it's best to just kind of wiggle it around make sure you've got it all in place Correctly, and then also check the top and make sure all your trim's fully in. It looks like this one actually popped loose up there. So that's where we're having some difficulty. And there we go. Now we can move on to the glove box. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put these two 10 millimeters back in. These are the ones without the washer. The one will go on this side, and these are going on this plastic. And then lastly, we'll be putting back up the airbag. And that's going to be two 10 millimeters on the bottom, one over here, one here, and then one on the side. <laughs> Alright, so this is the last piece we'll be putting in here, and then we'll have the side piece there. Uh, we've got the two pin connector here for the light and this back piece here which will go in this hole in the trim and once those are in place we have just got these four clips here there we go now that all of those are in place the last piece is here and this just goes in at an angle and then you push it down and now we're ready to test.